Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel where Hobby Beekeeping is a way of life. It's trailer park time, boys and girls. Man, it's 82 degrees, supposed to get to 88. Feels like 98. It's just humid out here. I got my son pulling siding. I hope they don't go too high because I can't get that top strip off. It's tucked under the roof metal. Here's what I started out with was pulling this top rail piece there's the edge of the roof metal and there's the side tucked under it and I could I could probably get it but that right there is a staple so all this top edge siding is stapled under the roof metal this whole thing was built in 1970 and if we don't destroy it it'll probably last another 20 or 30 years Quiet little mobile home community. Wetlands that way. Gulf of Mexico that way. Plenty to eat, plenty to forage from. These are these bright green are all popcorn trees that are in bloom. Let me get you an up close on a popcorn tree here, also called Chinese tallow. They have a very mild but sweet fragrance on these blooms. And when they're when they first come out, they're standing straight up, and then as they get full of nectar, they bend over. So that's how you know when they're ready. They're really hard to kill. They sprout up everywhere. And they're not native to the U.S. and they are an invasive species. Oh, we got one piece off. We still haven't found the hive. I'm hoping that they're not in the ceiling. That would be a terrible thing. <laughs> Like we got a small colony just in the top of this wall here. Making progress. I can't really see, but I think there wouldn't be just two pieces of comb in there. So I'm still vacuuming and letting all these that are in there calm down taking a break once in a while to let them come back in I've got all the comb out that's all there was this is a brand new little hive they said they'd been in here for over a year or at least a year <laughs> so I expected this whole wall to be full at least a cavity or two but all there is is this with a few eggs and pollen cells and there was one more piece about probably twice that size that I gave to the property owner because it had just a little bit of honey in it. So since I pulled the side and off of here, totally changed the look. They were going, uh, trying to go in down here because that's what it looked like where they came from. So I sprayed some Be Quick on that side and down there. You can probably see how shiny it is right there. And now I'm just letting them settle down, letting them figure out where the hive is now. And then I'll get back up there and get to vacuuming. So while we wait, me and Jake are going to sing y'all a song. <laughs> oh, I wonder, wonder, whom do I know who that song is. <laughs> somebody asked what a grown water oak looks like and here's a pretty nice example they're fairly fast growers they don't kill the grass all around them like a lot of live oaks and, and things like that do they do lose their leaves in winter there's a close-up of the leaf Wow! Exciting news. Never never happened before. I'm, sta I'm standing up there on the ladder vacuuming 
just trying to catch some of these in the air and bees just keep coming and coming and coming I'm like oh man will they ever stop the queen flies in front of me and I didn't I wasn't even looking for her didn't expect to see her and she landed on that piece of insulation hanging right there it's like oh my gosh the queen and I reached out to grab her and she went airborne she touched my hand but she went airborne she landed on my beard for about a uh, uh, hundredth of a second and then went airborne again and I watched her fly around and up over the roof like oh no then she flew over there by Jake and he tried to grab her and she took off again it's like man she's gone so I'm standing there vacuuming and I see her up here again she flies up in there again and disappears again and Jake spots her I'm standing on the ladder right here she was over here behind me on the metal and I don't even remember what happened next, but I caught her somewhere over here. <laughs> I don't even remember what happened. I don't, I'm excited. I'm excited because I caught the queen. <laughs> I can't believe I caught her. Out of the air almost. Jake spotted her. And he grabbed a queen clip for me and we boxed her up. So now I'm just trying to get everybody to go to her. I may have to put her up there in that space where they're all fanning that's where I cut them out of and they're all up in there fanning now but man it's the first time I ever caught a queen that was trying to fly away can't believe that I'm still trying to get everybody to come out of there and settle down so I just slid her up in here on this on this old uh, staple and they're starting to fan for her hopefully all these in the air come down and they can start backing them up there it is Going home to a new spot. All right, we're having a major malfunction here. <laughs> I put the cage inside so they wouldn't overheat. And there's a hole in the cage somewhere. We're getting a truckload of bees. I'm just now to pull over and take care of them. Well, I had to come back and check on this one again. I pulled a hive, me and Jake did, out of that corner right there about three weeks ago. I know you probably can't see it from here, but about six feet down, another hive has swarmed in. Another colony swarmed in. So we got to come back and rip up that upstairs floor again and stuff it. This is just one of them old ramblers. It's been the mobile home that's been added on and added on. And it's just got a lot of openings in it everywhere. So this probably probably won't be the last time I see this lady and might not be the last time this year I was like I don't even know what happened next she's flying by and I had my mind on some NASCAR I don't even know what <laughs> yeah